Hello and welcome to this Concord Help Center video. This video highlights the new features and improvements implemented in the latest Concord release. The first new feature I'll show is an improvement to the search function. You can now search for dates by going to the search bar and typing in any year you'd like. I'll demonstrate using the year 1866. Once you've typed in your year, you can click on the magnifying glass search icon and that will launch the search. You can see it found 22 results. When I click on the Science and Health drop down menu, you can see both of the citations that include the year 1866. Now let's say you'd like to do a more refined search and you know a month and year combination you'd like to look up. Let's say in my example, I'll look up June 1903. So I can go back to the search bar. I can type in June in the standard month spelling or I can type in any month abbreviation and then the year, 1903, and then you can click on the search magnifying glass, and that will launch the search. When I look at the results, you can see each of the results include the month and year. Now let's say you want to go even more detail. You know the month, the day, and the year, and you want to look up when a particular day and time was used in Mrs. Eddy's writings. So you can go to the search bar, clear it, and I'll type in June 8th, 1903. Once you've got the date in there like that, you can click on the magnifying glass and you'll see the result for June 8th, 1903. You can also use a different date format such as 6 8 1903, all separated by slashes. And when you click search, you'll get the same exact result. Now my absolute favorite feature in this release that I think everyone should try at least once is a date range search. So you can go back up to the search bar and you can search on a range or time period. So I'll search from 1866 to 1875. And when I click search, all my results, all 55 results, will cover any of these years that are in my range. So you can see I have results from 1866 all the way through to 1875. And when I click on, for instance, 1870, you can see that the year 1870 is highlighted. This can be a really great way to dive in and research a particular time period. The next thing I'll draw your attention to is this View All button. And when you click on that, you'll be able to see all the different years that are included in your range. And if you'd like to just focus in on one of these years, you can simply click on that year with a little calendar icon and it will update your search to be only for that year. So in this case it's 1875 and when I open the results it only includes that year. If you are interested in learning more about date search or about which date formats we support, we've created a dates help article on our Concord Help Center. The link to that article will be in the description of this YouTube video. The next new feature I want to show you is one that I think is super handy. Let's say you're doing a search on a word like love and there are 2,246 results and I'm very determined and I want to go through each and every one. So let's say I'm going through and I'm in the Bible in Deuteronomy and I've clicked on this citation here and then suddenly I have to go, I have to step away from my computer, my phone, I have to log out, whatever it may be. Well. Prior to this release, when you would leave and your session would restart, you would lose your place in your search results. But now when I refresh my screen, which I'll do right now, you'll see that Concord now remembers exactly where I was in my search, which is incredibly helpful because it allows my studying to be easier and it allows a more seamless transition between devices. These are just some of the different improvements updates and bug fixes included in this Concord release. If you'd like to see the full list, you can check out our change log, which is also in the description of this YouTube video. If you have any questions, you can email us at concord at cspscom and we'd be happy to get back to you. Enjoy these new features and happy studying.